From 1975 to 2010, air pressure was the method of choice to dispense fluid from a syringe reservoir. Millions of dollars were spent trying to combat the erratic fluctuation of air supply from compressors plumbed through the manufacturing facility. This presentation takes a posthumous look at one of the biggest firefights in the fluid dispensing industry that eventually led to the demise of the air dispenser. In the 1960s, prior to the adhesive bonding revolution, Manufacturing fluids were dispensed from hospital-style syringes. In the 1970s, scientists began to conquer the technology behind adhesive bonding. As a result, the adhesive bonding revolution began. Under assault, mechanical bonding devices such as pop rivets and screws were being rapidly replaced with adhesive. Speed of assembly, size, and weight were the main driving factors of the revolution. Consequently, the timed air dispenser was developed from the growing desire to apply the adhesives in a manufacturing facility. Over the years, the look and feel of the air dispenser changed, but the core technology remained the same. The core technology of the air dispenser combines compressed air to an air solenoid controlled by a simple timing circuit creating an open-close cycle. The compressed air flows to the syringe reservoir filled with the assembly fluid on the open cycle and dissipates on the closed cycle. Increasing and decreasing compressed air pressure and the open-closed cycle time delivers a wide volume range of assembly fluid deposits. Thirty-five years later, the same core technology is used in all air dispensers. So begins the greatest firefight in fluid dispensing history. Firefighting is a term used by quality control personnel when problem solving is focused on a byproduct of a problem's root cause as opposed to the root cause itself. Firefighting may solve a single problem, but will not solve all the problems associated with the root cause. Also, there is no guarantee the problem will not reoccur if the root cause still exists. Quality control tools such as the Ishikawa diagram were invented to isolate the root cause of a problem. Eliminate the root cause problem and all byproducts are eliminated instantly. Miss the root cause and you may make the same mistake the air dispenser manufacturers made spending 35 years wasting money firefighting byproduct problems. Hindsight being 2020, we can map all the problems with air dispensing using an Ishikawa diagram isolating the root cause of erratic assembly fluid dispensing. The result? Air pressure is the root cause creating multiple byproduct problems. The byproduct problems began burning the first day air dispensers were introduced to the manufacturing facility. Over the years, as technology advancements miniaturized consumer products, the fires blazed to five alarm status. Thus, air pressure manufacturers failing to recognize the root cause began the wasteful process of firefighting byproduct problems. The first firefight focused on the syringe and piston. Both syringe and piston designs were altered several times in attempt to extinguish the fire. The second firefight focused on the dispense tip. Restrictions at the end of the syringe barrel lure and restrictions inside the dispense tip were targeted. Several new style of dispense tips were developed as an attempt to extinguish the fire. The third firefight focused on the air compressor and timing circuit as the cause of erratic dispensing. Analog timers were replaced by digital timers in the hope of better air solenoid performance. Filtration systems were added in an attempt to stop moisture contamination of control boxes, syringes, and the assembly fluid. Achieving little results with moisture and time control, the firefighting shifted to volumetric displacement. As the space between the piston and air source gets larger, the time of the dispense cycle and force of the air pressure must increase. Otherwise, the dispense dot gets smaller as the syringe empties. This problem requires hourly adjustments of the air pressure and time settings, causing a high level of frustration with the operators. The volumetric displacement firefight involved air pressure compensation, pressure sensors are used to adjust air pressure, and software to make the hourly adjustments to air pressure for the operator. Automating hourly adjustments is a classic example of how firefighting byproducts of a root cause problem can waste time and money. Automating a problem is not a solution. And the firefighting goes on and on and on. By now you get the picture. By ignoring the root cause of the problem, air pressure, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars were lost to firefighting byproduct problems. Fishman Corporation learned from the 35-year firefighting model provided by the air dispensing manufacturers. Applying the Ishikawa diagram, the Fishman engineering team was able to clearly identify the root cause of the 35-year firefighting disaster, air pressure. By eliminating the root cause, they could eliminate all the byproduct problems and finally raised fluid dispensing performance to exceed manufacturers' desires and expectations. The first step was to replace air pressure as the driving force inside the syringe barrel with an electronically driven stepper motor and precision lead screw. The configuration known as the linear drive system moves the piston forward and backward exactly the same distance every single dispense cycle. The control system has a universal power supply converting both 110 volt and 220 volt current into a controlled electrical current assuring each linear drive dispense gun performs exactly the same. The smart dispenser system improves fluid dispensing repeatability six to ten times over traditional air pressure systems. The smart dispenser provides an enterprise-wide solution as each smart dispenser performs exactly the same as the next. This allows production engineers to specify a dispense program while prototyping a production cell, knowing when the production cells are built, either locally or in a foreign country, the performance will be exactly the same as the prototype dispense trials. The smart dispenser also dispenses two component adhesives three times as long as traditional air dispensers and is less abusive to assembly fluid during the dispense process. Fast forwarding to the 21st century, Manufacturing facilities are and will be going through significant technological upgrades. By 2020, all manufacturing facilities from multinationals to small business will have networked production facilities. The smart dispenser was designed to take advantage of these new technologies. Smartphone-like GUI menu systems, custom dispensing apps, and Windows 7 Ultimate Operating System provides the needed infrastructure for the 21st century manufacturing facility. Communicating between other manufacturing systems, MES systems, and providing real-time production data over the cloud, smart dispenser products allow remote access, remote programming, standardizing worldwide manufacturing. The smart dispenser product family includes system design for benchtop dispensing, benchtop automated dispensing, and a 19-inch DIN rail mount for fully automated production systems. Outperforming air six to ten times and built for the demands of the 21st century manufacturing facility. Major multinational manufacturers worldwide are replacing time air dispensers with smart dispenser technology. Thank you for your time and attention. Fishman Corporation looks forward to working with you in upgrading your manufacturing facility with air-free smart dispenser systems.